Well, that's a long way down. Oh, Jackie will be pleased I got up here. <laughs> it was actually barriered off, but I thought, fuck it, I'm coming up here. Oh, very carefully now. Very carefully. Oh, Jesus. Oh, had to. Yeah. Third attempt at uh, starting this video, if it does end up on video, because I'm not sure if it will. Yeah, uh, every time I've spoken to the camera, I've either been distracted by a dog, or I've had people looking at me weirdly through the car window because I'm talking to a little digital camera on the dashboard of my car. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the third attempt to get out because I really needed to get out. I want a bit of the countryside, you know, I, I need it. Uh, it's been very stressful times of late. I won't go into details about all that and bore you silly with it, but this is the third Saturday in a row that I've tried to get out and I've either been thwarted by age old ailments or horrendous weather. Uh, I did want to go to a place called Coma Woods, but when I got there, the car park, National Trust place, car park was absolutely rammed, and it was five quid to park, and being a tight, tighter than a bloody gnat's backside, I thought I'm not parting with five quid to walk amongst hundreds of people. So... <laughs> So I've come to uh, Kinver Edge. Anyway, let's see how it goes.
you might call it cheating bringing bits of kindling but seriously this is absolutely soaked sodden and I didn't want to struggle not today so I just come prepared with a little bit of off cuts of some kindling put some gel on it it's gonna get the fire going for the Kelly kettle I could probably scout it around and found some dry bits but it's quite late in the afternoon I've left it late and that's my excuses so you do what you do when you can with what you got I'm just looking forward to a, a cup of tea or coffee I'm not sure whether to have tea or coffee yet um, I've got a coffee or well, I've got some digest herbal tea I'll decide in a minute I'm not quite sure come back to you in a sec I wish I was camping actually now <laughs> just in the mood for camping but that'll come at a later date don't want to melt the lens of the camera I do love these Kelly kettles they're such fun that's such fun it won't take long to boil that it's only one silly little cup full of water so it's only gonna be a few minutes unfortunately I've, I haven't got um, a tripod and I did have a selfie stick but I broke it a few weeks back so it's very hard to position the camera and I haven't got really anything to stick it on and show this at better angles so I'm doing it the best I can folks okay I'm just doing it the best I can I've gone for the uh, digest because I do suffer from IBS so that probably seems to be the best um, herbal tea to have today <laughs> just thought I'd say anyway that should start whistling any second yeah there you go Would have been nice to have brought something to actually cook you know, anything even if it was just beans i got my hobo stove but it was time it was always time i left it way too late to come out um i was kind of hanging around hoping to do something else today so i didn't really get out till nearly one o'clock and by the time i managed to get here with all the traffic it, <sighs> So anyway, I brought um, I brought a cob, a cheese cob. That'll do today. It's just nice to get out in the woods. I've never been to this bit before, um, so I don't want to lose where I'm going. Because <laughs> there's paths meandering everywhere. And of course, I will ensure that this is out and doused with a bit of water and all the rest of it. Of course. Uh, that's it, I'm going to get my sarnie out and uh, have a munch wait for this tea to simmer for a bit might have another one, maybe it's just nice to chill out and relax and uh, I've actually found a nice peaceful spot I do keep looking around because there's an awful lot of people here but it's such a vast area. You don't bump into anybody very often. But it's like, it's like a nice little natural shelter this is. Just see if it's uh, spin you about.
kind of just like a nice little enclosed bit. Hmm. Anyway, gonna dig out my sarnie. <laughs> Nice. Very nice cup of tea. <sighs> Quite nice to have my own little mini fire as well. It's cold today. It seemed to be reasonably well hidden because that's another couple that have walked past. They haven't spotted me and the bloke just had a pee up the tree it was like no more than about eight feet away no idea I was here I mean there's smoke coming off the little fire and then another couple with a dog were walking in the opposite direction they were staring over I don't think they spotted me I mean, obviously, I'm not doing a stealth camp or anything. I'm just bloody here for an afternoon out. I, mean, I could have tucked myself a bit more into this bit down here. Be a bit more hidden. Oh, well. Do wish I was camping now. Really in the mood for it, being out here. Uh, but it's coming. There will be a camping video at some point, as soon as possible, I promise. I know it's been a bit low on that front with all these videos of mine. Uh, but I'm hoping I can persuade my daughter's fella to lend me there hot tent I haven't got one yet hope to have one one day oh, there's my phone that's a giveaway isn't it <laughs> yeah hoping to have a hot tent camp at some point so stay tuned but there is another oh, there is another adventure coming tomorrow hot on the heels of this if all goes according to plan something totally different not hiking not camping something a bit different um, and I'm hoping that comes off tomorrow because I want to do a little video of something a bit different so we'll see how that goes just keep an eye out for it right I'm going to um, I don't know maybe have another cup of tea and then I'm going to get going I think that'll do. I'll save it whistling. There's more and more people walking around now. A little spot all tidied up. And now I'm going to carry on wandering just for a little bit. It's more about getting the it's more about getting the Kelly kettle out today and having a cuppa and just sitting around in here than actually some mile munching hike. Uh, really not sure which way to go. I think I'll try that away. See where that leads me. 
long as I don't get lost, I don't mind. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, it was difficult to get out the last few weeks. It was really difficult. But I'm glad I have. It's cheered me up a little bit. See? But, uh, yeah, just three Saturdays on the trot trying to get out and it's just not happening. For one reason or another. And came out really late today. It's probably already about three o'clock. I've no idea what the time is. No idea where I'm going. I think I'll head this way. Um, what was I waffling on about? Yeah, um, yes, I was <laughs> losing my train of thought. I was supposed to be doing something else. It kind of wasn't happening. I'm not going to say what, because I'm hoping that that was supposed to happen today will happen tomorrow and be a bit more of an interesting video maybe than this one. have to see, won't we? It's wicked in here. Absolutely ace. Really nice. Okay, I'll come back to you in a bit. Horses. Well, that ruined me walk by. Oh dear, never mind. A shire horse. I could hear it trotting behind me. I thought, I ain't got time to do a walk past. Walk by, whatever you like to call it. So, never mind. One of them. Well, that's me a bit sort of lost. <sighs> this should theoretically be leading back to my car, but it doesn't seem to want to be leading me back to my car. I thought I'd just gone in a big circle. <sighs> Bollocks. I'm a Wicked place to be lost in, but obviously I'm conscious of uh, the time and it getting dark. Um, I should try this way. I don't want to go down there. I think that might lead me further away. Hey. Oh dear. I'll figure it. If a skeleton's found in here in years to come, you know, I didn't figure it. Got enough water for the night. <laughs> oh, blew my neck. Ah, oh, it's got to be this way. I'm sure I've been in a circle. And they seem to be fenced off now. Oh, God. Oh, dear. 
Oh dear. What? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Where am I? Where, the, where, where am I? Uh, in memory of Arthur. Ch chatter? Chatter? Oh, whatever. 1994. Yeah, he got lost in here as well. Oh, beautiful. I'm just gonna go up well, that's a long way down. Oh, Jackie will be pleased I got up here. <laughs> it was actually barriered off, but I thought, fuck it, I'm coming up here. Oh, very carefully now. Very carefully. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I had to. Yeah. Well, <coughs> quite by accident, I've stumbled across a path I recognise from earlier, so I know I'm going in the right direction. It's a bit unnerving sometimes if you come to a big massive woodland or forest even, because this is huge. And you don't know it very well. And of course, I, I don't have a set route. I just go off down all these different paths and then I think, shit, where am I? <laughs> oh, I'm going to sit down a minute oh, take the weight off my brain oh. yeah I came to a bit and I thought I'm not going down that but it would have led me back to the same place anyway God, this is a bit tight man oh, well, good help if I did it have a sip of water and just a sip for five minutes ah oh, yeah oh. yeah I needed this I needed to get out I needed the countryside I needed some woodland I needed the sticks weeks and weeks of being at work or stuck in at home on the weekends you know 
and I'm not a big fan of the silly season and all that entails. Bombarded by bloody adverts and massive traffic jams when you want to just do three miles and it takes an hour. And the environmental chaos it causes anyway to the planet. Not fond of it. That's winter solstice is more my thing. Uh, but anyway, that's my little ranting and grumble out of the way. Yeah, it's lovely here. Yes, yeah, so there will be camping. There will be, there will be. It's been low this year. The funny thing is, I did quite a bit of it before I started the YouTube channel. And suddenly it was like only four in the whole year. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Lots of other commitments, lots of things going on. In, up in the head as well. Because I'm a stressy, anxiety little bit most of the time. So I do need to get out and do this. Even if it's not in a tent, even if it's not overnight. Even if it's just an afternoon. I, um, I would recommend anybody who's suffering anxiety or depression just get out to your local park and get out to your local woods. Take a flask, take a little cooker, take a kettle kettle. I bet my battery's flashing now as it always does around this time. Yes it is, so I'm going to have to turn it off and I'll speak to you when I'm back at the car. I'm back at the car, it's getting really dark. Uh, so I'm gonna have to wrap it up quick. Uh, there's no light on this old fashioned camera. So you might only just be able to hear me and only just be able to see me and my battery's about to go. Oh, probably the usual. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share and please subscribe. Get me past 115 subscribers. Uh, we'll be in more adventures and we will get into a tent at some point and my wife will bloody join me again at some point as well and become the maze outdoors once more. Anyway, I've got to go and I want to get home. Right, thanks. See you soon. Bye.